All right, guys. So we got we got the shock and we got a new spring. Got the new spring. And the new shock. And the combination is beautiful. All right. Let's get this changed. Give it a couple of high here, are you? Okay guys, so there is a bolt here and there's two on the top. It'll release the shock and spring and then we'll worry about getting the top plate off and the mounting plates and yeah. Let's get the loosen in this bolt and them two and look like the 14s. So I've gotten these two bolts loosened on the top and I've got, as you can see, a message coming in on the phone. But I've also got the socket on the bolt down there, but also, right, what you have to do is, there's a rubber and it just seems to catch a load of water. So I just ripped it off there, not ripped it off, I pulled it off, but gently persuaded it to come off. And don't you know it lads, what's coming out next? You already know me too well. Give you a second to guess what's coming out. <laughs> Let's get that cleaned up. Oh, the Lord God, I need to use my hand. It's on the phone. Guys, let me give, give me a minute there. Give me a minute. I'll give it a go with this, guys. I'm struggling. I'm struggling to hold the camera on that at the same time as in this. Let's just do it before and after. Fuck that. So there we have it, a little bit cleaner. We'll be able to get a, a spanner or a socket onto that now. So let's, uh, can you see the broken spring in it? Can you see the piece of it that's broken? And you, I can't even see it there. Oh, I can see it there, yeah. There it is right there in the center. That piece right there. Isn't that meant to be there? <laughs> So I'm thinking that the few lights that are on are because of the entanglement of the wires in the spring. Pulling on all the wires. So let's get this bolt off and take the spring and chuck it and we'll get, we'll just get a better view of it. Hmm. Here was me wondering why there was nothing coming loose. That's not a bolt. It looked like one because it had a little bit of rust on it, so I just threw a socket on it. And to be fair, it was tight. Well, I just loosened a load of rust on it, so I have the breaker bar on the inside. It was... Look, I have the breaker bar on in here. So we'll just use this breaker bar. And that's that shock. Come on. Let's rescue your past then. There you go. That's that shock, eh? So now that the shock is out, we don't really need anything now. 
apart from this. So I'm gonna try and give it a quick blast with the with the gun here to try and get that. I hope it comes off nicely with this. Let's see. No, it has to get them. So I have to kill her. I have to put them. You know, voice grips on the shock. Oh, let's see this work. Let's hopefully it works. Yeah, that's it coming off. That's it's coming off like that. Sound. Sound. Yeah. I'll try and do this without spring clamps, huh? Haha. <laughs> it's gonna be funny. Okay, let's do this without spring clamps then, huh? I've generally got spring clamps, but my ones are away. Well, my dad's ones are in my dad's house. Let's we'll see how this goes. So as you've seen, we managed to get the spring on by brute force. <sighs> now she's ready to go in. Let's put that in and bolt this all back up. I think it's crazy, yeah, I have to, the, uh, the brake pipe needs to be tightened up as well. And it's a little on the uh, move inside. That spring looks a lot healthier now anyway, that's for sure. I'm sure that's that in there, you just have to put the bottom bolt in. Which is actually quite simple. Let's push that up there. Yeah, this is this isn't so bad at all. What I am gonna do to make it a little easier, I'm gonna tighten up the top mount on it. A few moments later. I'll just put I'll just put music over. Um yeah, what are you doing anyway? Just how'd you get out early? You did what? Well. Oh, okay, okay, no. I got the shotgun spring in it in Patsy's anyway. Yeah. Uh huh? I might do, yeah, I'll see. We'll see how it goes. Well, I'd say, I, I'd say, like, more than likely, I'll drive up something, like, if not this, then I'll drive. But I don't mind this. No, I'll drive up anyway, because I've got to bring up tools and fucking axle stands and everything. I've got to bring up the driver, so I'll drive up either way. Yeah. 
Just come in, I'll give you a call back in a few minutes, right? Alright. Right. Yeah, I got it in there. Fine, Pat, yeah, nothing. Put my engine back together. Huh? Put my engine back together. It's nearly done though, he said. He's putting a head back on it or something. Okay, you going over to him? No. I come. Huh? I come. Oh. Yes, he's flat, flat out anyway. This is all going right now, lads. That's the shock bag, you know. Sort out this pile of mush. They go in there and here. That's that one. It's a terrible place for wires, like, absolutely terrible. So what I am going to do first of all is just put a bit of copper grease on the studs. I was going to use Loctite, but um, uh, this is just it just goes on a bit easier. This is all to be fair. That's all. It just goes on a little easier. Shlabadomilasvich. Anybody ever hear that football? I know. There was a time when I, I can't remember, it was a Ray Houghton. Might have been near Houghton. But there was still a guy commentating anyway. I love listening to him commentating. And I remember we used to be commentating in Ireland, football matches, right? And I can't remember who he was commentating against. I think it might have been Serbia or Croatia or something like that, right? And it was very funny because he was just like, he was calling the players' names. And the players' names were like, Istanovic, Ahulovic. Ivanovic, <laughs> do you know what I mean? Like, I just kept on going, you're all a bitch. It was very funny. I know it might not sound it, but I had a giggle. So many bitches around. Uh -huh. I just hope. <clears throat> I just hope that the uh, arch is not sitting over the wheel again. Take out Juan Axel. Now, let's see how that looks. Can you believe it? Not a single bolt spell. Wow. So guys, fucking dogs barking and shit. Yo, Tupac, Biggie, shut the fuck up. So anyway, guys, as you can see, we have a pile of parts. Now we changed the air filter. We changed the spring. Changed the shock. Change the wiper blades, change the battery, and the oil filter, which is 
roaming around somewhere. Um, she is looking absolutely stunning without a wash. So what I'm going to do now is I am going to give it a little hoover out on the inside, bring it outside and give it a wash. And just to spoil everybody, let's have a little look at it with the top down. I've never actually taken it down, so here we go. Yeah. Is there any more to do, Let's put this in, really. He'll give it a hoover. Huh?